Hey, what's up, everybody? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video on UMRV. As you can see, we are chopping some corn. Um, as you guys can see, this is not the chopper that we had before. This is a new buy, actually. We were talking with a neighbor and he had this thing just sitting around um, been sitting in his shed for a couple of years he didn't use it anymore he always did custom uh, chopping crews he'd hire them and have them come in because he just didn't have the time to chop his own corn anymore and so we got a heck of a deal on this uh, we ended up getting this chopper and header for about, uh, I think we spent $15,000 by the time we were uh, all said and done with the dealing. And we sold our old chopper for about uh, $8,000 to a different neighbor. So, decided we're going to put this thing to use. Uh, we also sold one of the uh, Meyer chopper boxes with the... Uh, other pull behind chopper so we are just running the one which is going to be just fine for our setup uh, we did get all of our straw baled uh, we'll go ahead here and hop on over uh, we got a total of uh, 251 bales I believe off of our uh, two wheat fields so we got everything sitting here stacked up and good to go so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna jump right on in and we're gonna start chopping some corn and start getting some uh, silage made up for these cows of ours so that we can uh, whoops have everything we need to make it through a winter, a year, whatever you want to call it. Oop, if I can uh, drive this chopper. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to have a couple videos of uh, some silage action here. Um, hope everybody enjoyed yesterday's video of the uh, new map that's in the works. Uh, if you did not already see that video, make sure you go on back and uh, check it out. Um, not much to see right now, but in the future it will be. And uh, definitely worth a look. Now, this chopper is quite interesting. The uh, particles will go right on through the trailer. Quite uh, interesting. So we're not even going to get one time around this field, even with this small header, and we're going to fill this chopper box. So we're going to be doing a whole lot of running uh, with this setup here. So... <clears throat> oh, and we are full already. Look at that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to back this up a little bit. So we can get in here with our tractor. We're going to unhook this guy right there. Pull this right back on up. Okay, you don't have anything. You're not running through any corn. I don't know why you're kicking stuff out yet. So we got our 4440 sitting here. Um... This tractor is ready for a break. This thing is. This thing has put on a lot of hours here this summer. Uh, we've already got 13 hours on this tractor, so it has put a lot of uh, put on a lot of hours over uh, the time of putting up our hay and putting up straw. And now it gets to be our main workhorse for putting up this silage as well. So we're going to 
get her uh, hooked on up here. Hook up all of our stuff. And we're going to have to kind of run it around the edge of this field here. Because <laughs> we haven't even made it halfway around and we're already full. Hopefully that's a good sign that we will get a whole lot of silage put up. Oh, okay, I did not think that one through. Kind of forgot about uh, this little waterway. Well, um, <laughs> good thing we didn't tip anything over or send it in that water there. We are going to need to put some fuel in this tractor at some point, but I think it should be good for a little while yet. We're still a little over a quarter of a tank, so we should be alright for the next little bit. So I think what I'm going to do here is we're going to uh, get this unloaded, get back, get it hooked up, and then I think we're going to time lapse the rest of this field and uh, <clears throat> get it all done in this video and then we'll see where we're at for an amount of silage once we are done. Because it is going to take us a little while to uh, get this all done. So we'll time lapse it, throw some music over it, and uh, get her all done up nice. Goes our auto save again. Now we are going to have to fire up this silo as well. Let's go ahead and jump on up here. So we need corn silage to activate. Materials missing. Well, let's change that here. So we're going to let that unload. And just make sure that it is Wow, that actually runs relatively quick. Um, really quick, actually. So now one thing that I have been debating on is we do have the ability to put things such as hay, um, grass, straw in this. Um, now, I'm unsure whether or not I will, but I have been debating on actually taking advantage of that ability. Um, the only thing is that we might have to buy a trailer or rent a trailer, one of the two, that we can put grass into. Um... I am going to do some playing around with that on a separate save game and see if I can't figure something out. Um, soybean straw, corn stock. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. But I am, like I said, I am going to do some playing around with that and see if uh, I can't figure something out with this grass here.
just about emptied out here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our... So yeah, we've already got five yards, five and a half yards of silage made. So we are going to have a pretty fair amount of uh, silage, I think. We'll go ahead and we'll run on back. We'll get this swapped out back onto the chopper. And then we're going to kick it up. Kick it in a couple of, uh, kick it up a couple gears. Throw it in high speed and we'll get this field knocked out today. This is a uh, pretty nice little setup. And I have not done any damage or wear repair to this tractor yet uh, since we started on baling so we will have to do that as well when we go to put it away so we'll see how much silage we get off of this first field uh, we may chop that field and then uh, maybe some of field 35 there we'll see kind of what we end up with after this first field and then once we are done with silage we're gonna jump right on in right on back into harvest and uh, we're gonna get some soybeans cut first and then we'll move on to our corn uh, with our soybeans and our corn our corn we are going to be dropping the straw uh, as mentioned in a previous video we are going to drop the straw on both of them and we are going to um, look at getting it bailed up and uh, we're going to sell it for a little extra money. We might end up renting um, a neighbor's baler though. Uh, he's got a bit bigger of a baler kind of help cut down the time that it's going to take. All right, we'll shut this guy down. Um, so yeah, he does have a larger baler along with a step deck trailer and semi that he said we could borrow. So we might uh, look into doing that. in here and deactivate that because I gotta adjust the header. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here and we're gonna time lapse the rest of this field and then um, we'll come back at the uh, end of it here. So I will talk to you guys in just a few minutes.
try and save some time on this video I mean it you guys didn't really miss much it just a whole lot more of uh, the process that you guys had already seen multiple times in the time lapse so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this last little bit finished up we're gonna be pretty close to full which is gonna be perfect
Perfect. That will work for me. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to get this taken over to our ranch and get this dumped in. <clears throat> and then we got to get this thing cleaned up and uh, put away so we can get ready to cut some soybeans tomorrow. So we got a lot of uh, silage off of all this. Should be plenty to last us for a while. So we are not going to need to cut any more. have three hours on this chopper now just from that field a lot of that time it probably only has about an hour and a half worth of actual work maybe two hours and then it's got an hour hour and a half of just idle time so what we'll do is we'll pull this into the yard and uh, we're going to we're gonna drop the wagon Obviously, we can't really unload with uh, this, so we're going to pull into the yard. We'll drop the wagon. We'll pull the chopper over by the um, over by our crusher washer, and then we'll bring the tractor back. We'll get hooked up to this wagon, and we'll get it unloaded. And while it's unloading, we'll go ahead and wash the uh, chopper and head up so we can get this thing put away. We'll probably top off fuel in it before we put it away so that way next year when we go to use it again it is full and ready to rock. Uh, and then we'll be able to clean up the chopper box and our tractor get those fueled up that tractor definitely needs fuel so it is just about empty all right we're gonna go ahead and stop right here we'll drop our wagon right there this guy right there and we'll leave him sit for a moment <clears throat> yeah we got this tractor is uh, beeping at us that it needs fuel so we'll get that uh, done as well because this is this thing's still gonna have quite a bit of use ahead of it so So gotta repair the tractor and uh, restore the paint as well on it. There's a lot of fading going on on it, but for having 15.6 hours on it, that's kind of uh, kind of understandable. <clears throat> this tractor has been very much used and abused, so. And then uh, once we put it away, it'll be good to go for probably a little while now. We shouldn't need this tractor again until this winter. I think our cows are doing pretty good. We'll take a look at that too and check on those. <coughs> but uh, they should be doing pretty good. Let's 
get everything hooked up here. Get that guy unloading. While that unloads, let's get this chopper all cleaned up and ready to get put away. Perfect. And then we gotta open this shed door. Because the chopper is gonna go in there. First, we got to repair. Ooh, that's a steep repaint uh, bill. $9,000. All right, let's top this thing off with fuel. Perfect. <clears throat> now we'll get her uh, backed on into the shed and put away, and it'll be good to go for the year. Until, unless we have to bring it out to get our grinder out at all, but we shall see if we even need it. Perfect. Drop that header down and we can shut this guy down. My chopper box should be done. Unloading. And it is. So we're gonna go ahead let autosave do its thing. Okay. So we have to turn the production back on. So we have 220.6 yards. Um, oops, that's the wrong one. We need corn silage. There we go. So we have 220 yards <clears throat> of chaff left to go through, and we have 306 yards of silage already made. So we are going to have quite the stockpile of silage. Now we need to get this tractor moved out of the way because I want to put that wagon right here. So we're just going to pull this guy right o over here for now. Because, let's see here, how are our cows doing? So they are going to need some TMR here soon. And now we have everything we need to make. TMR. We won't have to buy anymore. So we will probably do that here at some point. We're not going to do it right now. But we will at some point go ahead and uh, get some TMR made for them. I've been reading something else. Interesting, it was picking up the chopper inside the building. Not sure why that was. <clears throat> and we'll see what kind of repair bills we have on the chopper box, mainly on the tractor. The tractor is probably going to be a pretty steep repair bill. may end up having to borrow a little bit of cash just so we can cover it. Alright, let's take a look here. 
Oof, yeah. 9,000 to repaint. So we got repair and repaint on that. And then, yep. And we are not going to have enough money. So we're going to have to hop on into the bank and borrow a couple more thousand. Because we are going to need it. Alright, so let's go ahead. We're going to swing over here and unhook this wagon. And then we'll get this tractor fueled up. And then we're just probably going to just leave it right by the fuel tank for now. Because we are going to need this. Okay, I'm not sure why our hitch is all the way up there. Hmm, interesting. Not sure what that was all about. <clears throat> so we'll pull this guy over here. Get him uh, filled up. Perfect. Alright. Well, that's going to do it. Um, for this video. We got plenty of silage to go now. So it should last us quite a while. Um... So, we are going to jump right on into soybean harvest tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get everything over to the field and ready to rock. And uh, then we'll see you guys at the soybean field tomorrow. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you are new to the channel and not have not already done so, Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see, and stay up to date with all future uploads. Thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow.